Hey, Carson Bible Church. It is Wednesday evening, which means it's time for our weekly prayer meeting. I would uh, like you to turn in your Bibles to Psalm 97. I will read the text of the Psalm. It says, The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the fountain foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and all the peoples see his glory. All worshipers of images are put to shame who make their boast in worthless idols. Worship him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. O you who love the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Uh, this is uh, what we call an enthronement psalm, which means that it is all about um, God being um, king over all of creation, over all of the earth. And uh, we're going to be pretty brief this evening. I really just wanted to encourage you uh, with that truth uh, that the psalm here affirms uh, very clearly is that God is the one and only sovereign king. God is a merciful and gracious savior and uh, that God is the one and only righteous judge. Uh, this psalm, uh, beginning with this line, the Lord reigns, let the earth rejoice. Uh, we as believers uh, should find great joy in the fact that our God uh, reigns over all of the earth, over all of creation, over all of humanity. Um, he is a great savior to his people. He will one day um, crush and destroy all of his enemies. Um, and uh, that is a cause for us to rejoice greatly. And uh, as uh, I think we need to remind ourselves every election cycle, and uh, we would do well to remind ourselves again now as we are approaching November, is um, God has governed his creation very well uh, from the beginning of time, and uh, he will continue to do so uh, into the future. God has uh, ruled and uh, controlled and upheld and governed creation uh, long before you and I were ever here, and he will do so long after you and I are gone. Um, so yes, it is important for us to participate in elections and to do so uh, thoughtfully and prayerfully. Um, at the same time, uh, we're often told uh, that every election is the most important one of our lives. And uh, I think it's really important for us as believers to remember that um, it is the Lord who reigns, and uh, this is not all going to spin out of control on our watch uh, if we don't mark the right box. Um, just, I, I just wanted to encourage you this evening that um, God's sovereignty, um, the fact that he is king, just, judge, and savior uh, brings great joy, and uh, we Worship him with our whole hearts and with all that we are. So I uh, hope you find uh, encouragement in that in your prayer time this evening. And I do uh, want to uh, challenge you um, to find joy in that. God bless you. We'll see you soon.